Hi Aries, we're, do we're doing your June 4th through your June 10th love spread, okay? I had to record your video all over again because I had all your cards laid out, I was talking, everything was going well, and all the cards just flew off the porch, okay? So everything happens for a reason, okay? So we're going to do your spread over again, no biggie, all right? So I feel like there's a different message that wants to come through for you, all right? Whatever the case may be. Um, that message did not want to come out. It did not want you to hear that message. So let's see what's going on with you. Aries, sun, moon, and rising signs for the week June 4th through June 10th. Okay. Let's see what's popping. Like, I feel like Aries, you might have thought it was going to go a certain way, but it goes a totally different way than you never imagined. Okay. Like a change in your fortune. Okay, like something something could be going one way and all of a sudden there's just like a complete change. Something just a drastic change here, okay? Like that was an omen, your car's just flying off the porch, okay? Someone too here could be flying off the handle in a situation, all right? Blowing up, something could, something could blow up in your face here. Let's see. Aries, all right, let's see what's popping. Okay. So you have the energy of, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. All right, so I feel like um, you're dealing with someone that's your soulmate, your twin flame, okay? Somebody you are meant to be with. This could be from a past life, okay? But I feel like Aries, you might be doing a lot of flirting, soul searching, looking for somebody, calling your soulmate, but the person you're looking for, you already know them, okay? You've already been with them. You've probably already been intimate with this person or they're, they're probably a friend, okay? Somebody you would never consider, but whoever you're looking for, they're right in front of your nose, okay? This could be the one. All right, you have the energy of separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon, okay? So your partner could be going away. Maybe your partner's in the army, the military, they're going away from war. Maybe they're a truck driver, they're going away for that. But there's gonna be some separation between you and your partner on the horizon in this week, okay? So just be prepared for that separation. All right, you could be separated from your partner right now as we speak, okay? You guys could be separated, no communication here, okay? But I feel like this is the one though. Whoever you're separated from, I feel like this could be the one. I feel like you could be playing the field, doing a lot of flirting, okay? Um, just trying to put yourself out there more, talk to more people. But I feel like the person you're looking for, the person you're searching for, you already know them. They're a friend of yours, all right? And you have the energy of flirt, exactly. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Yeah, so I feel, like you're, I feel like you're separated from this person, so you're flirting with other people, okay? You're putting yourself out there, playing the field, um, being the single person that you are because you're separated from this person. But I feel like... Whoever you're thinking of, like that's that's not them. This that could be the one, okay? But you're being very flirty here, very lighthearted energy, okay? Very playful, a lot of playfulness here, okay? But you're flirting, all right? I feel like a lot of you are single and you're separated from this person that could be the one, okay? You could have been involved with them recently. You guys just separated, okay? You guys will be separating in the future here. Maybe they have to go to work or they have obligations elsewhere, um, you could be dealing with someone who's married as well, someone who's committed, and they can't, you know, they have to spend time with you and they have to split their time between you and someone else. That's just, I'm getting for some of you here. All right. But this could be the one. Let's see what's going on with this could be the one, okay? Because usually it's somebody that we would never think, we're not even, probably not even attracted to. All right. It's like, this is, this is the one that you've been searching for. This is, this is what you need. All right. Yeah. So we have the seven of cups in the reverse. So something is manifesting here, something you wish for, prayed for, hoped for, something that you were calling in. It's here. It's already manifested. It's right in front of you. It's like reality is like this is the reality car. It's not back to reality. All right. This is not a, it's not a fake. It's not an illusion. Like your eyes are not deceiving you. Your eyes are not playing tricks on you. This is real. This person could be the one. All right. Like in real life. Okay. Let's get one more card. And we have the six of cups here. So this could be someone from a past life, okay? This is this is, could be someone from your childhood, like someone you can, somebody you never thought in a million years you would be in love with, but this could be the person, someone from your childhood, all right? This could be a childhood sweetheart. This could be someone too that you have children with. Maybe you haven't spoken to this person in quite some time. It could be six a week, six months, six years. Okay, you haven't spoken to them, but this could be the person here. Someone that you have shared a lot with, someone who's given you a lot, you've given a lot to this person too. You guys have shared a lot together. This could be like one of your best friends, all right? All right? But somebody from your past, it's like a, this is like a past life thing. Somebody you've dealt with, somebody you've been dealing with. Like a buddy or something, okay? Okay? 
So seven plus six is 13. We have 13 cups here. That's a, that's a karmic debt number. Okay, so 13 stands for laziness, all right? Um, so look, you want, might want to check your numerology chart areas and see if you have any, um, if you have 13, 13 as a karmic debt number, like a, a personality number or life path number here. You could be dealing with someone, someone with a four life path number. All right, but you also want from a seven of cups to a six of cups. That's one, okay? So you want a new beginning with this person, a brand new fresh start, okay? We have the four of pentacles here for separation, okay? So I feel like somebody here is very, very um, much attached to you. Someone here could be, even be clingy, um, very possessive person as well. But I feel like you're going to have to let go of that, let go of your possessions, let go of this person during this week because they have to go away. All right, they could be going away for work or they have other obligations here, okay? But I feel like somebody doesn't want to let go. Somebody here is very clingy, very possessive energy here with the four of pentacles, all right? Maybe somebody has to go off because they're not, they have to make more money. Somebody is a hustler and they're, they're like always separated from you. All right, somebody here is very stingy as well, okay? Stingy and possessive. Someone's very, very clingy. I don't want, to, I don't want you to go. Why are you always going to leave me, right? <laughs> but the separation is coming up. It's on the horizon. If you guys are not already separated, you guys will be separated um, in the future, okay, during this week, all right? You have the energy of the magician in the reverse. I feel like, yeah, there's some separation here, and I feel like a situation is not the right time. All right, someone's trying to manifest a situation here, trying to manipulate the situation, but I feel like it's just bad timing, all right? Somebody here could be a manipulator, very possessive, all right? Very tight with their money, very stingy, all right? Knowing the cost of everything but the, but the value of nothing type shit, all right? Like I get the check type shit, all right? Like that. But I feel like somebody's very tight with their money here. Maybe somebody's going off because they have to work, like hella work, need to make some money. Yeah, like I said, a brand new fresh start. Um, we have the uh, Ace of Rods here. A brand new fresh start with somebody. This is also too... Um, I feel like this person, like... I'm getting... This is what I'm getting for some of you. Whoever you're dealing with here, Aries, this could be you or them. I feel like you guys have really good sex together, but that, like, you guys have sex and then somebody leaves. All right? Like, somebody has sex and then they leave. Somebody comes back, you guys have sex, and then someone leaves. I feel like it's a very sexual relationship here. Like, maybe you guys are just friends with benefits. All right. Like somebody wants to manifest something more. Somebody wants to manifest a new beginning, maybe a relationship, something more solid, something more real. Um, but I feel like somebody is like, oh, I got to go. I just, I got to go. I can't stay or whatever. Like somebody doesn't want to spend the night. All right. Something very fishy here. Something very manipulative going on with this. Let's see what's going on with the flirt card. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Okay. We have the moon in reverse. So some secrets coming out. Okay. Somebody revealing some secrets here, okay? Being very lighthearted. This is also the emotional card. The moon is our uh, our emotions, okay? What we need to feel uh, emotionally fulfilled, secure, all right? So I feel like I feel like somebody is flirting here. Someone's gonna find out about it, all right? Somebody that you could be just having sex with, somebody you're intimate with here, and like maybe you're flirting with somebody else. You're trying to build something. You're trying to build something elsewhere, or you or you, or you already have built something elsewhere, and someone's gonna find out about that. All right, somebody you're, you might be just intimate with. Okay, kind of an in and out thing here. You might find out that this person is married. All right, could be that as well. Let me get a couple more cards here. Yeah, you have the tower. I feel like, yeah, I feel like somebody's being very flirtatious here behind somebody's back, though. And I feel like if someone's going to find out about this with the tower card here. It's going to come, it's going to come to an abrupt end. It's going to come to a destructive end, okay? Someone is getting found out. Someone's flirting, all right? I feel like, yeah, I feel like there's a relationship here where someone is just, someone is just friends with benefits, but somebody has, like, somebody's heart belongs to somebody else and somebody's having sex with somebody. Like, the same person you're having sex with and intimate with is not the same person that you're truly in love with here. And so someone's gonna get found out all right this is like really juicy <laughs> this love reading is like a soap opera here okay as the world turns let's get one more card with the flirt card okay okay we have the fool okay 50 50 putting yourself out there taking a chance taking a risk being very risky here okay
Yeah, I feel like it's like somebody's really putting themselves out there being flirtatious. You could be you could be flirting with someone like the person you're sleeping with. You could be flirting with their friend. And you don't know you don't you don't know it's their friend or some shit like because with the tower card here is like something's going to happen very unexpectedly. All right. This could be very destructive as well. All right. You could be like a, a fucking promiscuous person, a womanizer or a manizer, whatever the hell you would call it. A promiscuous person who's flirting around, who's fucking around with everybody and somebody finds out. Somebody that you're intimate with, somebody you're like you're friends with benefits with, somebody might find out that you're in love with somebody else. Okay. You're taking a leap of faith, take, taking a risk with somebody else, somebody from your past. Okay. I feel like there's someone here that you're just sleeping with and there's someone here that you're really in love with. Like somebody is like the one and someone someone is just like you're just sleeping with this person. You don't really want a relationship. You just want to be intimate with this person. You guys have, might just have like really good sex. All right. That could be the case. But your overall energy for the week is give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Yeah. I feel like you're trying to do that on top of still being intimate with somebody on the side here. Okay. Like you're trying to work on your partnership with someone that with this person who could be the one from your past, a past lover. But I feel like there's someone here that you're involved with, like right now, who you're just having sex with, you're just intimate with. You guys are just like friends with benefits. Okay, but somebody is catching feelings here. Somebody's being very clingy, very possessive. All right, not not wanting not wanting they want something more solid here. They want a new beginning with you. They want more than just sex. Very clingy, very possessive. All right, so be careful, Aries, whoever you're dealing with here. Okay, um, this could turn into something very nasty with the tower here. Um, some, someone could be trying to sabotage or jeopardize something that you have with someone you love. So just be very careful. Like, be careful what you're doing. If you're being a, if you're being um, promiscuous or a womanizer, okay? If you're being a heartbreaker, be careful, okay? Because something's going to get found out here. Be very careful what you're doing here. Make sure you're not being sloppy, all right? So I hope this helps you, Aries. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, okay? Thank you.